Welcome to the channel, folks. Clunkers and classics. Another episode of uh, hauling in some clunkers for dirt cheap. Tell you a little bit about my truck here. I bought this about six years ago off a of marketplace. It was a, a city or county water truck. There's still the decal outlines on it. If you look real close. Uh, yeah, it was an ex-city water truck. And then the guy that worked there that actually drove this truck bought it from them when they bought new ones. And he drove it for a while. And then he started having a few problems. Not, nothing major. He, uh, the door pin latch had broke right here and a door was hanging down about six inches and that was about it really I gave him 2300 bucks for it fix that door been driving it ever since all of all i've ever done to it is change the oil 2300 bucks it only had 159,000 miles on it uh it's got about 180 or something now i really haven't driven it that that I just do short trips the trailer never leaves just do short trips and pick up these clunkers with it I got another truck that I use for other truck stuff this one just tows this trailer so yeah that was a deal too I mean right I could sell that truck for five grand right now drove it free for six years and doubled my money still so yeah if you're gonna get a truck Got the LS 6.0 in it. Uh, by GM. Okay, I'll give you a little bit of update. This video is going to be about hauling in a uh, whole new batch of clunkers for you guys to see. Check out. Tell me what you think. Give you a little update. The last uh, video was I bought this truck. Uh running and everything but the rear end's blown they you know run it out of fluid and uh i i am i assume they run it out of fluid and blew the rear end okay i paid 300 bucks i decided to use the uh ls engine 5.3 and transmission and wiring harness and a whole bunch of other stuff to restore one of my old cars there the 68 chevy nomad if you're a regular subscriber and decided to part it out uh, I just now started advertising it it's slowly going sold the seats for uh, 200 sold the bed for 250 sold the tailgates for 150 uh, sold the dash for a hundred might have been a few other little things. Uh, the catalytic converters, there was two of them on there, but one of them was empty. Not worth anything. The other one I got 150 for. I had the catalytic converter guys come over uh, uh, about a week or two ago. Got 1200 bucks from them. They weren't all from the last batch, but 150 from this one. The uh, Mercury uh, Grand Marquis, four of them on there, 150 each. Got 600 for that. 150 for this one. I think I had a Taurus one for two something and and a Nissan Xterra two on the manifold. I think I got about 150 each for them. I think Anyway, I got 1200 bucks from them keeps the money flowing so I can buy more clunkers Okay, so uh, There's a little update on that so uh this video just showing you what uh what 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 you can get for a couple hundred bucks or free some people you know just put an ad out i buy junk wrecked abandoned neglected whatever vehicles and people will call you up i've gotten cars for free before hopefully some more will come up so i can show you or you could just get them dirt cheap, hundred bucks, two hundred bucks. You get to kind of feel out what the what the person uh, wants for them. 
uh, but basically you pay scrap value, maybe a little bit over, because nobody's really going to offer them, offer them more than scrap value unless they really, really, really want it. But they're going to know that they're not going to get much for it. If they if they want too much, just forget it, move on to the next one. Okay, so uh, that's the intro. We'll just uh, let you know next clip what uh, what I got in. Okay, we'll see you. Okay, guys, just picked up another clunker. I forgot to look at the title. They said it's an 05 Grand Dam. Got a clean title. Yep, 03 of 05. Okay. Uh, he said over the phone, it's got 140,000 miles on it. Runs and drives good, except for the, the uh, rack and pinions out in it and he's so I told him uh, I'd give him 300 for it said he had a good clean clear title all that but then as soon as I pulled up it's got it's whacked on the front here though they got I think new headlights in it but uh, the hood and the fenders all messed up looks kind of shitty but I went ahead and gave him 300 anyway so he said he bought it about a year ago off an old lady. And then he let his son drive it, and his son drove the piss out of it. Got stuck in some sand, fucked up the rear end. Broke or bent. Bent the rear arms or whatever. So he put all, all new rear end stuff in it. Uh, new struts, shocks. Shocks in the back, struts in the front. Something about three new tires. I don't know why he didn't get four. Three brand new tires. He said he put about 1500 bucks into it in the last couple of months. Then the rack and pinion went out. And he's too busy working. He's working a lot over time and stuff. And he said a shop wanted 900 bucks to, uh, to do the rack and pinion. And he, he just gave up on it. He started to take it apart. Here's the bolt for the uh, steering column. Steering column's uh, not connected. And then two bolts for the subframe that he took off. And something on the other side. So, uh, two sets of keys. Seats aren't bad. Let's check it out. Drove it up on the trailer. Just had to drive her straight. The dash is all warped from the heat. But she runs smooth as silk. Yeah, 146,000. 146,004 miles. But my cost is the cold AC. Stereo works. Oh, and he uh, had the transmission rebuilt as well, he said. I guess his son screwed that up. All power windows and stuff. Bad thing, it's got a crack in the windshield. Uh, I haven't checked anything in the trunk. I asked him if he had the uh, center caps. He said he couldn't find them. And he don't know what happened to them. So that's a shame. But you can hear it run. Oh, a new battery. It's got a new battery in it. Seven or twenty-one. Wow, year old. 3,400. See the new struts. But yeah, she runs good. The structure looks good in it. Looks like he just a fender hood thing. No structural damage. But the paint is in really bad shape.
So the question is what to do with it. And now he claims it was they were going to charge him 900 bucks at the shop and the rack was 400, which is kind of hard to believe. So I need to check on eBay, see what a new rack and pinion is. But I'm going to probably jack it up here on the trailer and get under there and just kind of look, see what's going on. But yeah, she's, she's ugly. Beat her with a heater. Yeah, back's okay. Just needs to be uh, vacuumed out a little bit. Okay, well, let me know what y'all would do with it. I think there's only one cat on these, these, but I'm not, I'm not positive. There might be one cat on a four or two on a six. I'm not, I'm not positive. Um, so I don't know. The cat's probably 150, half the money I paid for the car, but I hate to part it out. And if y'all been a subscriber for me for a while, I had one just like it, same color and everything that was sitting where the truck is right now for the longest time. And then months ago, I scrapped 48 cars, and that was one of them. Although I think it was all beat up too. But there's no pick apart, pick a pull, pulling, and all that around here. Nearest place for a big wrecking yards like that is in Dallas, probably, you know, two hours away. And uh, it's not an easy, you know, hop, skip, and jump to go get parts. So I probably wouldn't fix that just the rack and pinion sell it as is but and then this red is expensive red metallics the paint prices have gone through the roof so it's not worth buying expensive paint and crap for it so anyway yeah and a windshield ain't worth doing that to it either so let me let me know what y'all would do with something like this and uh i may fix it up quick flip but uh, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I just picked up a pair of them. Well, I bought a pair of them off one guy, 200 bucks each, package deal, 400 for two. This is the first one. It's kind of a pile of shit. 2003 VW, I think Jetta. Yeah, Jetta wagon. Uh, drove up on the trailer. It runs and drives, but uh, it gets hot. He went to sell it. Some guy drove it down the road and it died. Uh, engine code said TPS sensor. He put one of them on. Didn't help unless he put it in wrong. Uh, but when I got there, he had it running. He was pulling out of his backyard. And uh, it idled and... He unloaded all his stuff from it, so it was running for about 10, 15 minutes, and then drove it up on the trailer. So I don't know. You know, it runs and drives as is. He said something about somebody told him the starter bolts were loose or something, but he said he jumped it, jumped it off, and it started right up. Uh, he said he doesn't have the the key or something special key for the lugs. Because he had a flat, he used to drive it, in a flat, and the tire place had to bust the lug off. So, to chain, I guess, this one. Who knows? Uh, she's got 190,000 miles on it. She's, uh, I don't think I'm going to do anything to it. Let me see if the battery actually charged up on it. No, it ain't doing nothing now. Oh, it's got cold AC. Yeah, it's clicking. Battery's probably bad. I'll try to jump it and pull it off here. Uh oh, full gallon. I was just gonna go buy some antifreeze. He cleaned it out, but not very good. Left a full well, unless it's water. Uh yeah, she's a little shitty. So I don't know. Might be a fixer upper. Got the sunroof. Might be a fixer-upper for somebody, but really, 
Anyway, clear title on this one, clear title on the the other one. I'm fixing to go get it. Eight miles from me, so I didn't have to spend very much on uh, gas and time. Uh, it's a 2003 Isuzu Axiom, and it's a cream puff. Really nice shape, 140,000 miles, except it's got a bad transmission. Uh, he said it runs perfect, but it wouldn't get wouldn't get third gear or fourth gear, one of them. Anyway, let me go get that. Let me get this unloaded. Go get that, and we'll take a peek at that. So I'll be back. Put a jump box on her. She started right up. Got a little exhaust leak. Yeah, cold AC. Once it got half tank of gas, I got to siphon that out of there. Be a good car to do a neutral drop on, but I made a few of them videos a while back, but none of y'all liked it. Unless you're all new people. One of my favorite YouTube channels, Neutral Drop. They're funny. They do what I do, buy these junkers. And uh, they'll take them out and rip them up a, a road there and do burnouts and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, yeah, she runs and drives, but who knows for how long. You can't really sell it and have somebody drive down the road and the fucking thing dies, you know. So, and 190,000 miles and... Uh, I don't know. Let me, all, let me all know what you would uh, do with it. Okay, I'll be back with the uh, Suzu Axiom in a little bit. Okay, guys, here she is. She is, oh, she's got a, a whiskey net there, but pretty, pretty clean. Other than that, 17's on it. Now, the guy bought it from a, it, there's a local dealer auction down the road here. I went to it once years ago, and, uh, just like I mentioned in the previous flipping video there, the dealers sell their crap there that they, that isn't worth fixing. So that's what this guy done, that he caught a real shyster. So uh, he paid a thousand bucks, but he told the dealer, he says, man, uh, anything wrong with it? He goes, I need a nice dependable car. Dealers, oh, it's great, it's great. It's... And, uh, I guess I, I can't remember if he said it didn't go from second to third or third to fourth. Oh, he was pissed. He was about to wring that dealer's neck if he ever met him again. So, like I said, don't uh, don't buy from them dealer auctions unless you're you're prepared to uh, either lose money or work your ass off and make a dollar an hour. <laughs> It just is not worth it because if it was an easy fix, the dealer would do it, sell it on his lot. And the dealers can make a lot more money on their cars than you could can because they tote the note. You know, if this thing sold, if this thing was $3,000 cash price that you could sell it for, they'd sell it for five, tote the note. $1,000 down, uh, be $5,000. They, they just make a killing on these cars. So that's even, you know, they would not put this in an auction if it was uh, an easy fix. Okay, it's, uh, he said it was four-wheel drive. I don't know about four-wheel drive on the Suzu's, but automatic. He started taking something. There's a couple of bolts here. I think he said he started taking the cross-member bolts out or something. I don't know. Uh, pretty clean other than some leaves there 
I don't know what this is up here. Something's missing on top. Hope you left. Ooh, he left me a bag. Have to check that out. For a guy that cleans out his cars, he don't clean them out too good. <laughs> All kinds of drill bits and huh, and a can of white, full can of white spray paint. I seen these in here when I first went there, and look at that. Automatic transmission fluid. One, two, three, four, five quarts. What a nice guy. Oh, and he's got one. Hey, give me one of them uh, transfer uh, to put transmission fluid in. And he got a transmission filter. Oh, yeah. Oh, and a motorcycle. Motorcycle helmet. Nice. These cars, junk cars, always have good stuff in them. And even when the guy says, oh, give me a minute, I'm going to clean it out. And they still leave the shit in there. About a hundred bucks worth of crap in there. Okay, so. I have no idea what it's worth. It's supposed to have 140,000 miles. You see it says dealer only there. Uh, I'm assuming it's got the V6. He said it purrs like a kitten. 140k. Uh, I know a couple of transmission guys. He said it's something a 4L30 GM transmission or something like that. I never heard of it. But I, I got one guy local here that does just does GMs, so I don't know whether he could do this one or not. And then another guy. Um, I could send it out, have it done. It'll cost me. I'm not going to do it myself, and I'm not going to put in a used transmission because I, I've had a Suzu Troopers rodeos, and I get calls every day, people wanting the transmission. So the transmission in these things are, are shitty. So uh, if I was to fix it, I'd, I'd have somebody rebuild it. Well, cheap, you know. Yeah, man, that's nice. I was just out of transmission fluid, too. Let's see what kind that was. Uh, Dex Dextron. A thing of screws, adjustable wrench. Okay, yeah, clear titles on both of these. This guy had a yard full of trucks and crap. The guy just buys cars all the time, I guess. So anyway, uh, I'm going to think about what I'm going to do with it. Let me know what you would do with it. I'm going to look up some values. Uh, see what it's worth. You know, if I had a tote the note car lot, that'd be five grand. $49.95. 500 down, $49.95. 75 bucks a week. Those tote the note guys just make a killing. Okay, I think that's it for this one. Not sure what I'm going to do with it. Might not decide before this video ends, so let me know what y'all would do with it. And I'll be back with another. Guy didn't lie, she purrs like a kitten. They cut the cat off. Cut the cat off, put in a straight pipe, and got a Flowmaster. It actually sounds pretty good. They rev her up. This uh, power window on the passenger side don't work. Driver side does. It It makes some noise, but it doesn't come up. So either the window is busted out of it or the regulator's busted. Anyway, I just jumped it off. Figured you want to hear it. And it does 140,674.
half a tank of gas. Okay, figured. Let you hear what it sounded like. Okay, I'll be back with the next one. Okay, guys, just got in another clunker. This guy called me up. He uh, just bought it a little while ago, like a couple weeks, month ago, for a thousand bucks. Uh, he bought two new tires, new radiator, new battery, new struts, and then the uh, he still got the temporary tag, but he just got the title in and handed it over to me. Um, so then the water, he had a water started leaking, and that uh, fucking. started checking it and it, he said it, it's coming from the uh, there's a new battery coming down here through the harmonic balancer and he took off the timing cover that's laying in the in the front seat and he said it's leaking down there it could be a freeze plug and then he, he says oh it runs great it runs great well went to start it there and uh, it just cranks over it won't start uh, missing the fuse block cover. He took out one fuse, but I took I took this fuse here and stuck it here, and it still it it almost it wanted to start, but it wouldn't. So I I don't know what's wrong with it. He said it he it's done it one other time when he when he had it. It would just crank and crank. It wouldn't start, and then eventually it did start. So who knows what's wrong with it? Uh. He does, like I said, he has the title signed over to him. Signed over to him, but he never put it in his name. So in order for me to resell it, he'd have to put it back, he'd have to put it in his name, pay the tax, title, license, all that stuff, and then give me the title. And I don't even know if I'm going to mess with it. It's got, oh, he bought two new handles. There's the timing cover here. Uh, it's got 190,000 miles. He took the radio out. He's got another little, little Toyota car or something. Anyway, he took the radio out of it, so. It's a 2002 Hyundai Sonata. No, Hyundai uh, Santa Fe. Now, I looked in here real quick, and apparently, he didn't clean it out very good. Look at that. Nice hammer, nice axe, pipe wrench, drill without a battery, little hacksaw. So I got some goodies in there. Okay, I've had one other Hyundai. I usually tell people I don't buy Kias or Hyundais. Um, but I had another Hyundai that I got for free. You can see this cat right here. There's one cat there. And there's one... One back... I don't know if you can see it sideways. There's one back there. One's three... 40 and the other one's 220 something like that i think i got 560 for the last hyundai two cats 560 just paid 200 immediately 360 dollar profit just on the cats spend five minutes buzzing them off with a with a sawzall <coughs> rest of it 200 scrap take the new battery for uh 
probably the Nomad. <laughs> um, or something. There's the new, you see the new radiator there? Put it up for parts. Anyway, good money maker. I'm not gonna bother trying to get it started, messing with the title, fixing up, putting the handles on, dicking around with it, screw it. It's gonna be stripped of the cats, battery, and uh, stuff in the trunk. And park it and let it be parted out. Use the tires for something, 16 inches. They're always in demand. And that's it. And then eventually, when the prices go up, scrap the damn thing. So I'm gonna make a I'm make a killing on it, and you guys can too. So I'm gonna end this video because I still haven't rerun my ad. These are these are residuals off my previous ad. Uh, if you want to be busy and haul in two, three, four cars a day, run your ad every day, renew it every day, put it in those groups. I was telling you in the last video sign up to all them groups so you can post all them weekly garage sales and buy sell trade and all them groups around your area and uh you will be busy 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 but i don't want to be that busy because i want to work on the nomad i want to restore you know cars mainly but there's so much money in these uh clunkers so i'm gonna end this video what I got four cars on this video now. Tell me what y'all think. What would you what you would do with them? Uh, tell me if they're good deals or not. And uh, I will be back with another video like this as soon as I get another batch of four or five or who knows how many. Like I mentioned last video, I. One guy called me up, he had 12 cars. I bought all 12 of them off of him for a uh, made a package deal, $200 each. And man, I'll tell you, I made one of them ran. No, not, I shouldn't say that, most of them ran. But one run and drove real good. And I got like two grand for that. So I got all my money back from 12 cars selling one basically 11 cars for free so you can do it too if you're into uh want to make some money make big money on these clunkers haul them in okay so uh i guess we'll end this video for now and uh we'll see you then on the next one thanks everybody for watching